What's up everybody? Welcome back to another DIY gym equipment tutorial. This week, we're gonna cover wall mounted weight storage. In this video, I'll show you some options that require basic tools and little to no woodworking experience. fire up that power tool, make sure you know how to use it. If you're unsure about it, you can ask a neighbor for help. DIY projects are awesome, but being safe is even more awesome. Option number one is super easy. It takes 20 to 30 minutes, costs about $60 in materials, and requires only a cordless drill. I'm using a 6 foot 2x4, so there's no need to cut it. I lay the bumper plates on the 2x4 to mark where the weight pins need to go. If you don't have access to weights, don't worry, I got you bro. Here are the measurements. I use a combination square to mark the center. I lay the flange down, then use my drill to mark where the pilot holes need to go. Pilot holes are important before the screws go in. They keep the wood from splitting. I like to use super thick number 14 screws that are an inch and a half long. They're strong and should have no problem holding the weight. Repeat this process for the next three flanges. I screw the caps onto the 12 inch pipes and screw the pipes onto the flanges. Throw a bit of black spray paint on and let it dry. Before mounting, I drill the holes for the lag screws. One in the middle, one on the bottom, and one on the top. I use four inch lag screws to attach it to the wall. Now it's ready to hold some weight. Make sure you're drilling into a stud or make sure you have drywall anchors so that doesn't happen. Totally thought I secured it to a stud. There are lots of great resources if you don't know how to find a stud. Clearly, I should have brushed up a bit before this project. The second option is less expensive but a little more work. The main difference is using wood dowels instead of metal pipes to hold the weights. We will be cutting our 48 inch wood dowel into four 11 inch pieces. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I love using wood dowels. They're strong and versatile. I go over the ends with a roundover bit on my router to get rid of sharp edges. If you don't have a router, you can use sandpaper to soften the edges. Spacing will be the same as the other design. Here's a refresher if you forgot to write the measurements down. I'll be drilling holes for the dowel, so I mark the center with my combination square. I use a 1 and 3 quarter inch Forstner bit to drill the holes. You only need to drill halfway through the 2x4. I use an 8 inch drill bit to drill through the center of that hole. This is for the lag screws, and it helps guide the drill bit in the next step. I flip over the 2x4 and drill shallow holes with my 1 inch Forstner bit. This is for the lag screws, and helps to ensure the weight storage sits flush against the wall. Add wood glue before inserting each dowel.
Then add a washer and a two inch lag screw from the back. A quick spray with black spray paint and this thing is good to go. This time, I know where the stud is. Okay, so this is basically the same as option two, but with weight peg spacing for a set of 255 pound iron weight plates. You can lay the weight plates on the 2x4 and mark where the pegs will go, or just use my measurements. On this one, we need 6 weight pegs instead of 4, so I cut the dowel into 6 8 inch pieces. I round the edges with my router. I drill inch and three quarter holes on the front side and shallow one inch holes on the back. And I add wood glue before inserting the dowels. You can use a rubber mallet to tap them into place. Flip it over and add a washer and lag screw to each one. I don't add paint to this one. Looks fine all natural. Make sure to allow time for the wood glue to dry before putting the weights on. This one is super easy, but the most expensive of all the options due to the pipe fittings. The first step is to sand the 2x4 to remove any blemishes and markings from the lumber yard. Then I throw down my tarp and get out the early American wood stain. It's a medium brown color and is a nice contrast to the black metal pipe. I spray a quick black coat on the pipe. Measurements are the same as option three, but here they are in case you didn't have a chance to write them down. I pre-drill before putting the screws in. After that, the rest goes pretty quick. I originally used 12 inch pipe for these, but I didn't love how it looked. After swapping those out for shorter pipes, I'm pretty happy with it. This is definitely the most Pinterest worthy option. If you make one of these, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Be sure to subscribe for more great DIY home gym tutorials.